It has been warm here across central Texas, and we're going to continue to see the warmth across our area through the day on Friday before things finally change late Friday night going into Saturday as a cold front moves in. We are going to see waves of clouds from time to time, high clouds during the afternoon hours, but during the morning we'll have low clouds, especially Friday morning, maybe a little drizzle and fog east of I-35 as well. Main storm system is still out here to the west, and as long as that is over there, we are on the east side, which means we're on the warm side. And that's why we are seeing all the warmth. As soon as that passes by, though, we will see cooler air start to shift on in as we head toward the weekend. So let's look at our future track showing that the clouds will be on the increase once again as we head through tonight into Friday morning. Could be some patchy areas of drizzle and fog east of I-35. Then we'll probably break out a little bit as we head into the afternoon tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. Temperatures getting up into the low to mid 80s across the area. Record high tomorrow is 80 degrees. I think we're going to hit that. Then here comes cold front by about 11 midnight here. Looks like some showers could be developing just to the east of Waco Temple Colleen, continuing down to the south with some clouds developing behind the front Saturday morning. But we should start to clear out as we head into Saturday afternoon and no rain is expected over the weekend. So tonight temperatures will be into the 60s for us. It is going to be muggy out there. And then as we head into tomorrow, yep, record highs likely into the low to mid 80s. We'll go 84 in Waco and Colleen, 85 in Temple. But things begin to change thereafter as we'll go for a high of 65 at midnight on Saturday. Falling temperatures most of the day Saturday is going to be spent in the 50s with a few clouds and a north wind at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Look at that Sunday morning, a low of 30 degrees. It's going to get cold for about that long. And then we're up to 66 Sunday back in the 70s as we head into next week and maybe a couple shower chances by late next week.